Hey, this is Mr. Leach with Simpson Math. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can physically see how the sum of the interior angles of a triangle do in fact add up to 180 degrees. To do that, I've taken some pieces of colored paper and I've cut them into some various triangles. I have an equilateral triangle, an obtuse triangle, and an acute triangle. Let me first show you with the equilateral triangle. So what you need to do is to draw a triangle on a piece of paper, cut it out, and label the angles A, B, and C. You don't have to make an equilateral triangle. It could be obtuse or cute. Just use your creativity. What you're going to then do is to then cut out each angle. Using a straight edge, I drew a straight line on this piece of paper. If, in fact, the interior angles of this triangle add up to be 180 degrees, then I should be able to fit them together like a jigsaw puzzle using this line as a boundary. So let's take angle A and put it up against the line. Let's take angle B, put it next to angle A, and then angle C should fit in right next to it. And in fact it does. So as you can see, that this is 180 degrees, because remember a full circle would be 360, so this is half, which, which is just 180 degrees. Now, this isn't a proof in and of itself, because we just did it one time, and it was an equilateral triangle. Now, I want you to take a piece of paper and cut out a triangle. It can be obtuse, it can be acute, make it as weird as you want to make it, and I want you to see if this rule still applies. I'm going to do mine with this acute and this obtuse triangle. I want you to pause the video and try that on your own. As you can see with both the obtuse and the acute triangles, when I fit their angles together like a jigsaw puzzle, they all fit together, showing that again for these triangles that the sum of the interior angles is indeed 180 degrees. And I'm certain for any triangle that you drew with a straight edge and cut out, this would happen every single time because the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. I hope seeing it physically helped you understand this theorem a little bit more. 